Welcome to Request with Dhamma. In this video, we are going to learn about the IIF uh, statement. Um, this can be used for if else uh, the condition is true or false. So there are only two possibilities here. So it is very useful and a quick way to write the expressions uh, where we would like to use the if else uh, condition. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look here. What we have here, uh, we have a customer table. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to drop this table and then we will create this table with customer ID, first name, last name and salary column and then what we are going to do we are going to insert some data so let's ingest some data and now we can go ahead and take a look on our data so if i will just type customer it's gonna show me in drop down and then simply i can go ahead and execute and it will give me all the data from customer table now if i'm interested to get some list of columns not all of the columns so maybe two columns only so in this case i would like to get a customer id and then uh, second column, uh, let me get a F name. And uh, that's all I would like to get. Uh, then uh, depending on the customer ID, if I would like to create uh, a new column where we can use I, I, if. Uh, okay, so let's call that column uh, condition column, okay? And then uh, in this case, uh, why, what we are gonna do, put equal I, I, if. So that's what we are gonna use. And see right there, if, then, else. Uh, Okay, so that's what it is going to work like that. So first of all, let's say if I will say customer ID is less than three, then uh, I can put this condition. Then what you want to uh, type, or maybe I will say uh, ID is uh, less than three. Okay, now what we can do next, uh, and uh, that's else part, uh, otherwise ID is greater than or equal to three okay so and then close the parentheses so if we execute this uh, entire statement so what's going to happen uh, it's going to take a look on this uh, id so here you are going to see that uh, if um, condition is going to work like that so it is going to take a look on a uh, customer id so here it took a look one and two ids uh, they're less than three so this condition is true and uh, that's why this part is uh, printed. Uh, if it is uh, not true, then uh, this part is uh, going to be printed out. Uh, so you guys can see there where ID is greater than uh, 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 three or even three, that's where it is uh, uh, coming up with uh, this part. Uh, now let's uh, go ahead and uh, write uh, on uh, some other uh, field as well. So in this case, uh, what we have here, we have salary. So if I will just execute this statement, so, and uh, let's take a look on the salary. We, we have salary 2,000, 4,000, 50,000, uh, 1500 and blank um, so i want to write expression something like that so here i'm getting everything from customer extent uh, that means i want to get all these columns uh, but i would like to have another column added at the end uh, so in this case uh, salary type is the column i would like to add so we will say salary type equal to and then we'll use iif and parentheses started and parentheses ended here and here we are going to write our condition so here we are saying salary is less than or equal to 4000 so if that is true then uh, uh, just print out very low salary otherwise uh, print out a good salary so let's go ahead and execute this now what's going to happen uh, you're going to see right there so uh, everything less than 4,000 here, very low salary, very low salary, good salary for 50,000 and very low salary, very low salary. And for blank, uh, it is also presenting a good salary because everything less than or equal to 4,000. So let's uh, take care of the null values as well. So here uh, we can put multiple conditions if we would like to do that. So here you see that the salary is less than or equal to 4,000 or is null so i'm checking uh, if salary is null so these two condition has to be met uh, and then uh, this part will be printed if uh, these two condition uh, anything is false so that's uh, where is this going to print out this part of it uh, okay so let's execute this uh, statement and now you guys can see that uh, two for two thousand four thousand very low salary and even for null uh, see right there that's where the condition is met true. So very low salary, very low salary. And uh, there is only 150,000 for that one. It is a good salary is printed. So this is how you will use IIF for the conditions where you have to if else. So uh, this is a pretty easy, straightforward. And I hope uh, you guys enjoyed this. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.